Please join me in praying. Heavenly Father, as we gather the best way possible in celebration of Blanchester High School's graduating class of 2020, let us not forget to bring glory to your name. Lord, we thank you for uniting us students through this education journey that we started what seems so long ago. Allow us to use what you have given us as a pathway into our future as a foundation for the rest of our lives. So many of us are thankful for those teachers who have always been willing to go above and beyond and support the students, no matter the circumstances. We are thankful for one another as classmates who have become friends and eventually who have become like family who, will we, who we will keep in contact with forever. We thank our families who from day one has continuously wanted the best for all of us and who have, had our mo who have been our motivators with the same end goal in mind, being here today at graduation. Each and every one of us has put forth great efforts to achieve this honor today. Lord, I ask you that you let us take the memories we've made within these four walls, the lessons we've learned, the character we've built for ourselves, and use this in each and every one of us as today marks the start of a new chapter in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red of the graduates, 
for choosing Blanchester Local Schools to educate and mold the most prized possession, their children. I'd like to thank the alumni of Blanchester High School for support over the years. The graduating class of 2020 will be going many different directions after today's graduation. I want to wish them the best of luck and please always come home to visit. At this time, I would like to welcome to the podium Alexis Davis, President of the Class of 2020. Hello everyone and welcome to the 2020 Blanchester High School Commencement Ceremony. On behalf of the entire Class of 2020, I would like to take a moment to thank the administrators, teachers, and loved ones who are listening in today. While this year's ceremony may look a little different, one thing remains true. Today is the day for the entire community to come together in celebration of the dedication and perseverance of this year's graduates. Our journey this year has certainly been an unusual one with an ending none of us could have expected. But through hardship comes strength. Charles Swindoll once said, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. So graduates, ask yourselves today, how will you react? Despite the unprecedented times we are living through, we each have the power to make a difference in the world we live in. Use the hardship that you're going through today as fuel as you embark upon your next journey. Looking out here today, my audience is composed of mostly only my family. While this is unexpected, I could not ask for a more loving group of people to be here with me. Graduates, I implore each of you to look at your support system right now, whoever that may be, and thank them. None of us would be here without their love, motivation, and occasional nagging to do our homework. Now more than ever, it is important to remember what and who are most important in life. Each of us have a lot to be thankful for. So take today to thank those who have stood by you along your journey. High school, much like life, is a series of ups and downs. At times we are excited, others scared. We feel motivation and sometimes cluelessness. So to the administrators and teachers who have stood firmly by the students' side along our journey, we thank you. It is your unwavering dedication that has made us the young men and women we are today. Graduates, I also ask you to give thanks for your friends. Although we are going our separate directions in the fall, it is important to remember those who made this school so much more than a school, but a home. Together, we have conquered late night study sessions, terrifying Spanish presentations, and yes, even quarantine. It's here that we learn to love, to chase our dreams, and discover who it is we're going to be in this world. So give thanks, I ask once again, for where you are, for what you have learned, and to everyone who has been a part of your journey thus far. Graduates, this is only the beginning and I cannot wait to see what lies ahead in the next chapter. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so proud of you. So Well, I think it's safe to say there are so many things about this year that didn't go as expected, and that's okay. That's how life is. Although granted, a pandemic is quite the exception, but life really is funny that way. It throws all kinds of curveballs, especially when you least expect it. So in a way, I choose to believe this has been a blessing in disguise. It has taught us to slow down and reflect on what's truly important in life. At times, it was quite inconvenient, frustrating, but you know what? We all persevered through it, and that's a great lesson to be learned there. Resiliency. If you can learn to take those curveballs and pivot to get a new perspective and embrace the change by always finding a positive angle on the situation, then you will learn to have a great outlook on life. Like I learned at Bible study a few weeks ago, just because life gives you lemons doesn't mean you have to suck on them. Each and every one of you has so much potential in front of you, and so go out and make an impact. Let your light shine. I've missed you guys, and I wish you nothing but the best. One of my favorite quotes is, they didn't promise it would be easy, but they did promise it would be worth it. 
Our lives may not go as planned, and that's okay. Just do your best and make the best of it. Congratulations, class of 2020. I've always thought of graduation as a crossroads, of the past, the present, and the future. It's always a little bit bittersweet. We're sad to say goodbye and to leave behind what we know so well. At the same time, we are thankful for a moment to rest. But then we're excited and a little nervous to step into the world and start a new chapter. There's no way to make up for what the class of 2020 has lost this year. I know it has been difficult to spend these weeks without your friends and to lose so many of your traditions. But if there's any comfort that can be taken right now, maybe it's this. The pandemic has revealed that none of us really know what we are doing. Adults don't have life figured out. Take comfort in that. That means that you don't have to have life figured out either. The truth is that we're gonna use the information we have and we lean on each other to make the best decisions we can. And from having you in class, many of you for the last two years, this is what I know about you. You are resilient, you are persistent, and in the midst of so much uncertainty in our world, you give me hope. The world needs your kindness, your ideas, and your leadership. I know the class of 2020 is going to change the world. I can't wait to see you on the other side of this pandemic and give you a hug. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so proud of you. Buena suerte. Congratulations. I'm very proud of all of you. May you do great things with your life. Good luck. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm super proud of all of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. I love you so much. I want to say three things. First of all, I hope that you will uh, approach the problems in life as a rational thinker. What's the problem? What are the facts you know? How do we get from point A to B? Second of all, problems are opportunities. I love Rascal Flats, Broken Roads. It's so true. Uh, as just go with the road as it, as it turns from one place to the other. Uh, that, that is the easiest way to go through life and that'll bring you great joy and help you find your meaning and your purpose in life. And finally, I just wanna say I love you so much. You're in my prayers and uh, please stay in touch. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am proud of you. I think we're all proud of you. I know you're here tonight, but I know that uh, you're going to excel. You're going to do great things. Welcome to the club of us distinguished Blanchester alumni. Congratulations and good luck. Hi, I'm Mrs. McCarty, high school principal, just in case you forgot by now. I wanted to let you know, just like I've always told you when you came here, I have two personal kids and I have 400 and something kids to my heart. You will do a great job after graduation. You will become something great. Please come back and see us and come back home. And if you ever need anything, please stop by. Good luck with your future. At this time, I would like to introduce salutatorian Jenna Monholland. Theodore Roosevelt once said, believe you can and you're halfway there. On this day, we have achieved a milestone in our lives. Some of you may look at it as just another day, but many others will see this accomplishment and take off running with it. We are all about to go our separate ways, but remember where we all started. The class of 2020 came into the world during a time of national terror, and we are graduating high school during the time of a global pandemic. This class is already meant for the history books. Who knows what else we can achieve? As I stand here today, I am aware that plenty of us are unsure of what the future has to hold for us, and that's okay. You aren't supposed to have your entire life figured out just because you graduated high school and are being thrown into the adult world. Graduation is not an end in itself. It's the means to let, type, to let life take you wherever, as long as it's somewhere. We should look at today as our launching pad to get us to the place we are meant to end up in. Use this experience to reach for the stars and never stop growing. Of course, none of us would have been able to achieve this accomplishment without our families, teachers, friends, and coaches. I would like to thank all of you, no matter how big or small the impact, nor how long or recently you pushed us to be our best. Today is our day, and we genuinely couldn't have done this without your help. 
Our time here at Blanchester High School gave us the opportunity to find who we are, or at least get an idea. Using this knowledge of ourselves will always be in our favor. Stay true to who you are, no matter where you end up. The only thing we have is ourselves. Don't lose that. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors, whether it be continuing your education, joining the military, going into the workforce, or following your dreams. Your opportunities are limitless. It was a pleasure to grow up with you. Class of 2020, we did it. We have proven we can overcome any obstacle thrown in our way. Now go out and do something great. If you believe you can, you're already halfway there. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce salutatorian Matthew O'Neill. Alright, so we're finally here. We finally did all the work to get to this part, part of our life. First, I want to start out by thanking God for all the blessings and the struggles He's given me. I want to thank my mom and dad and my sisters, Bridget and Heather, as well as my brother-in-law, Nick, for giving me all the motivation and support I needed to do this. I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to talk about something funny or be serious, but I chose to talk about something serious today. I'm going to talk about failure. Of course, everybody knows you should not supposed to be afraid of failure, but I'm going to disagree with that. I think we should be afraid of failure. All of our lives, people always tell us, don't be afraid of failure, try new things. Well, I think we should try new things, but we should be afraid of failing those new things. If you fail at a new job, you're going to get fired. If you fail in the military, you're going to get killed, or worse, you can get your unit killed. If you fail at being a doctor or a surgeon, you could cost somebody their life. Failure is something to fear. I will agree that we should try new things because this is the key to learning what we do in our life and who we are. Around 20% of the world sets goals. And of that 20%, 70% of them never even accomplish their goals. But we're different. This graduating class I've seen throughout my whole life, and I know that we're stronger than that 20% and even stronger than that 70%. We're in that 30% of the 20% of the world. We can accomplish whatever we want to accomplish, and we can do whatever we need to do. I think that we're all able to succeed. Even when you feel like you're destined to fail, you can win, and you can succeed, and you can accomplish whatever you want. But if you don't even remember that, just remember these final words. Remember where you come from. A person from work named George told me that when I first started working there. And I think it's one of the most true things that you can know. If you remember where you come from, you'll remember who you are. It's those struggles that you encountered as a teenager that makes who you are when you're 40, 50. It's those struggles that make your morals. So if you don't remember anything that I said today, just remember who you are, where you come from, because that's you, and that's you only. Don't listen to what other people want. Make sure you do what you want to do in life, whether it's go to college, whether it's go in the military, or whether it's go into a trade and get straight into life. Nobody can stop you, and nobody can hold you back but yourself. So don't listen to others whether they want what's best for you or what's worse. you got to do what you want to do. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Valedictorian Kayla Allen. Hello to my fellow peers and their families, potentially watching this at home in your PJs. It feels wrong to get up here and not first thank the people who have helped me the most in my life. My teachers who have inspired me to pursue my dreams and given me the tools to do it. My friends who have stood by my side no matter what and been the best life coaches I could ask for. And my family. My great big giant family overflowing with drama but also with love. My grandparents who have spoiled me endlessly with affection. My pest of a brother who I love more than he can possibly imagine. My dad, who has left a legacy of selflessness and hard work that I can only hope to live up to. And my mom, the strongest woman I will ever know. She fights through every day 
to be present. And I will tell her enough how much it means to me that she's always been there for me, even when it was most difficult for her. All of these amazing, beautiful people, some of them sitting right there supporting me, have made me the person I am today. Words can never express how much they mean to me. But that's okay, because I can show them every day. I can show them through my love and through my patience and through my kindness, through accepting my emotions and theirs and apologizing every time I'm beside myself and say and do things I shouldn't, through thanking them every time I see them in my corner, and through supporting them and pursuing their own dreams if they have supported me in pursuing mine. And it's the same for every one of you. You don't have to be valedictorian or salutatorian or even in the top 50% of our graduating class to be extraordinary, to vow every day to be a better version of yourself than you were the day before. And for that, we must all seek to practice what I believe to be the most important of virtues, patience. Patience with everyone around us and patience with ourselves when we fall and fail and make mistakes, because we most definitely will, we must recognize that we're not worthless, we're growing. We are moving out into the real world, as adults say, as if high school was a mass figment of our imaginations. And truth be told, I haven't missed this place since it was closed. A small part of me wishes I could speak all of these beautiful words about the crazy, amazing times I had here, but I'd be lying if I did. I didn't have the best years of my life here. If anything, I've mostly learned what not to do with my life. Every day I came here, I told myself I was the girl who read and stayed quiet, and that was it. I let my identity and my growth be hindered by, well, all of you. I've been so afraid for so long to make my opinions known, to be loud, to take up space, but I'm getting over that now, and I'm looking forward to the rest of my life, and I hope you will do the same. Everyone always says that life is short, which, in a way, is true, but this saying always backfired on me because it led me to believe that I needed to check off as many items on the list as soon as possible, but that isn't what life is about. It's about cherishing each and every moment for what it is and what it means to you. We have so much time, guys. No one says that enough. We have so much time to explore and to try new things and to never stop growing. And as we are the future of our world, we have the time to change it too for the better. This moment right here, right now, may feel like the final curtain call but the show is far from over. Although we cannot stand side by side, it is an honor to be united in this experience with you, class of 2020. Thank you and good night. All right. At this time, I would like to introduce valedictorian Alexis Davis. I wish more than anything that I could be standing in front of you all today, looking you in the eyes and telling you congratulations. But while I cannot be with you physically, I want to take a moment to extend my deepest congratulations to all of the graduates this year. It is a great honor to be standing in front of all of you, and I want to thank each one of you for coming here and celebrating today. This ceremony looks a little different than we expected, but to each graduate listening, I want you to know that your accomplishments and your legacy is one for the books, and it will never be forgotten. And again, I can't be with you to say it, but I want each and every one of you to know how incredibly proud I am. Four short years ago, we all walked through those auditorium doors, and like all of you, I was uncertain of what lied ahead. I was anxious at times, excited, and definitely curious. But looking back, I never could have predicted the journey I was about to begin. High school has grown me in so many more ways than I could have ever expected. Academically, I was challenged, proving to myself that even my wildest dreams were within reach. But we all know the high school experience extends so much farther than the classroom. High school has taught me to believe in myself. 
It's taught me to believe in others. It has taught me what it truly means to have friends. And it's taught me that it's okay to fail. It's not our mistakes that matter in life, but how we respond to them that counts. Since entering those doors, undoubtedly each of our journeys have been vastly different. But as we prepare to exit them, I know for certain that in some way or another, we have all grown into stronger, more independent people with the confidence and tools needed to shape the future of our world. Today, we're here to celebrate the hard work and dedication of the graduates. But I would like to take a moment to say a couple personal thank yous to all of those who have supported me along the way. Mom, Dad, I would not be here today without your love, faith, and insistence that I always be my best self. Ricky, having my best friend by my side for most of my high school experience has been the absolute blessing. And I am so thankful for all of the memories we have created together. To all of my friends and family, thank you for believing in me, even when I didn't at times. And of course, to all of the teachers for seeing a strength in me that I once did not, thank you. And specifically to Mrs. Harpin, who I was in your room for four periods a day senior year, so congratulations to you for putting up with me this well. I am genuinely thankful for everyone who has made this school my home. I will leave you with a quote that I hold very, very dearly to my heart. Maya Angelou says, I have learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Ten years from now, maybe no one will remember who was homecoming queen or captain of the football team. What they will remember is the laughs you shared together, the hard times you faced together, and all of the memories you created side by side. So as we approach the next chapter of our lives, graduates, I encourage each one of you to lead with your hearts, to uplift those who uplift you, to act with kindness, to chase the impossible, and most importantly, give thanks. We are given one life, one opportunity to chase our dreams. What will you do with yours? Thank you. Let no one steal your dreams. Let no one tear apart. The burning of ambition, the fires that drive inside your heart. Let no one steal your dreams. Let no one tell you that you can't. Let no one hold you back, and let no one tell you that you won't. Set your sights and keep them fixed. Set your sights on high. Let no one steal your dreams. Your only limit is the sky. Let no one steal your dreams. Follow your heart. Follow your soul. For one that you will follow will truly feel whole. Set your sights and keep them fixed. Set your sights on high. Let no one steal your dreams. Your only limit is the sky. At this time, I would like to welcome to the podium Superintendent Mr. Dean Lynch, Board President Mr. Kyle Wilson. Mr. Wilson and the Board of Education, it is my pleasure to announce the graduates before us have successfully completed the required course of study established by the Ohio Department of Education, as well as the criteria set forth by the Blanchester Board of Education. Therefore, as superintendent of schools, I recommend to the Board of Education the graduating class of 2020. On behalf of the Board of Education, I accept your recommendation. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you the class of 2020. Caden Craig Burwanger.
Seth Eugene Caldwell, Jr. Daniel Clayton Davenport. Jennifer Paige Browning. Gage Leroy Michael Daniels. Lucas Tanner Davidson. Thomas Charles Black. Carter Allen Abbott. Kaya Jolene Breesley. Lillian Sue Brown. Aaron James Drexler. Jillian Harley Green. Alexis Caitlin Davis. Oakland Maximus Graf. Ethan Barrett.
Ashlyn Taylor Benning. Justin E. Demerly. Rebecca Michelle Collin. Samantha Bicknell. Cameron Tyler Gibson. Tanner Logan Prager. Libby Jane 
Bogum. William 
Smith II. Nicholas Owen Phillips.
Jacob Monhalla. Morgan Nicole McQuitty.
Leanne Haynes. Abigail Faith Lindsay. Tyler Allen Walton. Elizabeth Marie Tinkler. Kirsten Brooke Johnson. Jace Patience Lee Mingy. John Aubrey Sherman.
Emma May Rumpke. Jonathan Edward Trivet. Jaden Anne Marie Prophet. Heavenly Father, surround those who are graduating with your grace. Help them to stay true to their dreams, to use their gifts wisely, and to walk into their future with faith, hope, and love. Inspire them to believe in the goodness of life, even when faced with today's difficulties and challenges. Amen.